first episode, um, who you are and uh, kind of how you got into this whole personal development side of things. Yeah, so I think my first video in English was probably like a year and a half ago or maybe even two years. So my name is Dushan. I'm originally from Croatia, but I spent five and a half years living in Ireland. That's how I met uh, Borna. Uh, now, last year, I moved back to Croatia. Uh, I got involved in personal development like two, nearly two and a half years ago. Myself and my wife were just you know, unhappy with our lives, with our jobs, with how things were going in our lives. And <clears throat> we just decided to, just decided to change something. Uh, my wife came across a Facebook ad for a live seminar in Tralee. She attended the seminar like a few days later, we signed up for this like mentorship program. We invested like basically our whole life savings and like the changes we've seen in our lives, like from, from that moment were just incredible. Like our income skyrocketed, like the whole thing like just changed. And then last year we decided, uh, I think in my, my first podcast with you, I think I was saying is my goal. Our goal was actually to move to Portugal and that was really our goal for a while. But then we came here like during COVID just like for about a month because we work from home now. And then we kind of realized that, you know, why not, why not move back to Croatia? I don't think Portugal, uh, I don't think there's something that Portugal has to offer that Croatia doesn't. So look, it's just good being home. Uh, it's good to be here. It's, you know, we enjoy life. We just do what we do and we're happy with it. So that's my kind of story awesome. until now. But yeah, there's, there's much more to it unfolding, I hope. Yeah, definitely. And we'll get into parts of it, definitely, because I love the story because um, it's so rare to actually hear that people, you know, uh, take their own lives into their own hands and they're like, all right, I'm going to change it now. I'm going to do something about it. I have a feeling that most people, you know, kind of just go through it. And it's like a, uh, we have a saying in Croatia, it's like the river is, is has taken me, you know, something like that. Yeah. Um, so I have a feeling that that happens to most people. And um Somewhere around college, I started um, reading these personal development books and it, I found them very interesting. And I always loved stories like that where somebody changes the course of their life. Um, can you tell me what were some of the things that you started doing when you um, took on personal development? Was it just books or was it something else as well? Well, initially, like, I mean, my first, like how I got involved with personal development in, in the first place was about, I think, seven years ago. Like my wife, now wife, she was my girlfriend back then, Yelena. She was, she, I think she read all the books probably from Robin Sharma. Uh, you've heard about the guy, yeah. So I started reading a few books and it was all, you know, good. Like you read a book, you kind of start implementing things for a couple of days, but then I kind of felt you know, I was drifting away. I was going back to my old habits. So I never really implemented a lot, but that was like my first ever introduction to personal development and really nothing major changed. Uh, in fact, I was probably going backwards in certain aspects of my life, especially like in Ireland. So I kind of found like it was all good. Like when we just arrived, we got new jobs, we bought cars, started family. Like there was some changes, but then once our daughter was born, you know, I was kind of stuck into this job and not liking it. I kind of felt like I was not going forward. I was actually going backwards. Mm -hmm. And that's when I, when I, um, when I decided to change something, but again, nothing majorly happened until we decided to invest in ourselves and really like hire a mentor and have a like proper full-time uh, mentorship for, for us. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah amazing um what were some of the habits that you changed i know that's um a big one for people you know um mm -hmm. you there you were kind of oscillating between going where you want and going back to the things that you were doing before what were some of the habits that you changed uh, along the way uh well there was like i think getting up at 5 a.m that's like that became a habit so like i was actually getting up at 5 a.m every morning to go to work uh, and then I would come back from work and I'd be tired and I'd go to bed straight away or like, you know, I would take a nap. And I thought it's always like, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. But then when I quit my job, I said, sure, look, I already have this habit of getting up. I said, why don't I just keep doing what I'm doing? And I would just take those like few hours every morning and study and work on myself, which I did. And guess what? I found that I'm not even tired. So like there could be, because like you work on something that you're really excited about. And when you have like, when you're motivated, when, when, those things are happening like you're not even uh, uh you don't even get tired but like some of the like probably most important habits is that i started studying like and i mean like there's many forms of study we can talk about it later but uh like when you like when we joined this mentorship program there's like a program that you study every single day so there's you don't take weekends off you don't take bank holidays i mean obviously you can take a day off like christmas or whatever like but it's a really like it becomes a habit mm -hmm. so there's like not even a single day, day goes by even today like that I go without any study like some days it's just 
some audiobook. Some days I do like a full lesson. Some day I could read for an hour, like whatever it is, but like it just becomes like a really, really important study because as late Bob Proctor says, uh, the only way to change something is is true study. The only way. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I think Alex, Alex Ramosi was asked on a recent podcast, like, um, what's the difference of someone making it or not making it, right? And he's like, yeah, the guy that made it knew how, right? He had the information and he learned it somewhere, right? So that, that's exactly the same thing, right? You, you absorb Absolutely. information and then you change your action into something else, right? Yeah, I agree on that one. Um, what are you studying? Like books or programs or audio books? What, what's your focus right now? It's mostly, uh, mostly programs. So we started with this program called Thinking into Results. So that's like a six month. It's like the program you study in the, the, in the initial six month academy that we did with our mentor Declan. Then we kind of upgraded to this new little field program. So they're really like a structured program with a lot of repetition. So you could be on one lesson for like a week or two weeks. I even know a lady who spent three weeks on this lesson on self-image. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of like, a lot of repetition involved in that. So that's what I'm able to do. Like, I like to read a lot. Like I completed like this, this speed reading course. So I remember that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's really like, it's, it's a joy. You know, you kind of, you take a book and then you, you kind of read the book in like two days and then you take the next book. So I like to read a lot, but again, not like, I don't even have to read it because I know that if I wake up at 5 a.m. by 7 a.m. I've done my, you know, there's like a, a video or audio lesson and there's like some worksheets to be like done so there's a bit of writing involved i keep my like gratitude journal and i think that's like that's a lot for most people like i don't i think like some people like try to get on like they're they're doing like webinars and this and that they're reading books and they just kind of burn out so the goals have to be like really you have to keep things in balance so i think an hour a day of study is just it's perfect yeah yeah i agree and definitely necessary like if you want to change your life you definitely need to work on it like i, I don't think that change comes like from nowhere that that you know it, it magically appears from the no, universe no. like like many people say like it will just come like I, I think you have to push it in a certain direction with with your actions and thoughts and emotions and like the whole spiel. absolutely um hey thanks for watching this video if you want to see the full version go to the uncle gold podcast youtube channel or watch the next clip